Talking boats, sharing our stories. I'm Matumika, and I I belong to the Hindu religion, and um, it would be uh, it would be quite uh, apt to say that people belonging to the Hindu religion mostly originate from India, and apart from India, there are other South Asian countries as well, like. Uh, Sri Lanka, etc., Bangladesh, where you would find uh, Hindus as well. Uh, I would like to say that though I am a Hindu, but I'm not a very practicing religious person, but I think uh, to me, religion is something which is ingrained in myself. So I believe in the existence of the gods, the superpowers, but it's not that I do some religious offerings or religious practices every day. Uh, another feature of Hindu religion, I think, is uh, belief in multiple gods. Whenever uh, I come across somebody non-Hindu, and whenever I say that I'm a Hindu, I have seen people asking me that, uh, do you believe in too many gods? So I think that's a very uh, prudent question in, in the minds of generally non-Hindu people. And I think uh, my concept is that though we have a couple of gods, but, but it's essentially not God, it's the concept of different concepts of nature like we have gods of rain gods of um, the sun god then uh, the god of wealth god of goddess of education and all that so these are the various aspects of life it might be in the prehistoric period when people were very very much scared of the natural calamities they used to uh, worship these forces in the form of gods so that they could be protected and also they were longing for wealth and education to take them through their life uh, in a nice and systematic way and that's how they used to worship the gods as well. So I think um, this is my concept of religion, especially Hindu religion. I would, I would like everybody who sees this and comes across uh, such uh, opportunities uh, would like to. I would like to convey my message that uh, Hindu religion is a very rich culture, very rich religion, and it's a very modern religion. Hello, my name is Mary Sutherland, and I'm here on behalf of the Baha'i Faith. A lot of people ask me what is the Baha'i Faith, obviously, um, because the name in itself isn't really definable. It actually means the light in Arabic and it originated from Iran in the 1860s. So I think when people meet Baha'is they're always very, very curious and just, just like myself when I first heard about the Baha'i Faith, I asked, but, but what is that? and the person said it's a new independent world religion and so um, then I was able to develop and find out more about it and really in a nutshell the Baha'is believe in the unity of all religions that all religions are one and they, they come from the same God so that um, they unite all the other religions they accept the prophets and the status um, manifestations of all of the other religions 
um, that includes Buddha, Muhammad, Zoroaster, um, Jesus, Abraham, all of what we would know today as the prophets. Um, Baha'is also believe um, in progressive revelation that each religion has come to help man understand certain truths, universal truths. Uh, at the time of Jesus, it was love thy neighbour. And now um, Baha'u'llah, who uh, we believe is our prophet, and his name means the glory of God, uh, he has come to assist mankind uh, for the unity of the whole planet, so the unity of mankind, which will come about with the unity of all religions. So the concept is maybe a little bit complicated, and uh, one of the founders of the Baha'i Faith said that if people come together, uh, different religions, and they argue about it, then they were wrong. And it's better not to have a religion if it is the cause of disunity. So, for me personally, I've been a Baha'i for quite a number of years, and um, when I was preparing for this, I felt that in a way God had kind of wanted me to become a Baha'i. Um, I had originally been from the Church of Scotland, so I went on my own personal journey seeking something. I think at one point I was a Buddhist and I was all sorts of different um, faiths, and eventually when I heard about the Baha'i faith, I just felt that fits how I see religions as being a uniting, tolerant force in the world. And that's why I've remained a Baha'i through thick and thin. Sometimes it's been quite difficult uh, today because I feel that the unity of religion is one of the important things for mankind. My name is Mariam and I'm a Muslim. Um, and for me, one of the things that defines Islam um, and one of the things that I find the most meaningful is that um, the words that we say before before every prayer that we make, before we eat, um, before we go to sleep, are the words that we should try and say um, are Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So it's in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. And these words, Rahman and Rahim, also mean grace, mercy, compassion. Um, and when I when I've struggled with, you know, understanding. Um, my faith or other people's actions or my own actions coming back to that has always helped me um, to deal with myself with mercy and compassion to deal with others with mercy and compassion and to remember that you know God has mercy and compassion for for all of us but it wasn't always you know an easy relationship with Islam growing up in Scotland as one of the only Muslims in my school, it, it was difficult at times and you know being the only one that wasn't supposed to drink or have boyfriends or um, do all those things that you want to do when you're a teenager. Um, I became really distanced from my religion, it became something that I struggled with and you know I gave lip service to it um, but didn't really ever you know, a lot of the time it felt just like a burden. But when I've had to go through difficult experiences in my life, it's been the anchor that has um, kept me steady, the thing that has always given some meaning to my life, even when it's, even when things seem most difficult. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's been, um, something that's guided me um, and I, I try to reflect on my actions and and use it as, as, as the thing that guides me in my life. Hi, I'm Alan Glashen from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'd like to talk to you about our central core beliefs, which is family. Family is to us the um, celestial order in which uh, we come closer to our heavenly parents and draw a greater understanding of our heavenly parents through, fa uh, through marriage and uh, through childbearing we get greater understanding and knowledge of the love that our Lord has for each one of us. 
importantly, reach out to rural families that have fixed and build up a rural families, but also reach back. And that's why we're so strong in genealogical research. It's because we like to reach back and join up the whole line of rural families as far as we can, and as far as records permit us to do, such that we can help fulfill our Heavenly Father's, Heavenly Father's plan that um, all of his children may find their way back into him. And this is why family is so important to us in our books. Hi, my name is Manjula Manjula and I was born in South India and came to Britain uh, 43 years ago. I am a Hindu and I practice follow Hinduism and um, Hinduism is the oldest religion and uh, it, so it has many um, religious scriptures and um, it also prescribes um, eternal duties such as, um, such as uh, purity, honesty and self-restraint. And him, people don't convert to Hinduism, cannot convert to Hinduism. Hinduism um, does not, as it does not distinguish between Hindus and non-Hindus. And I am a vegetarian, and I, it's my belief that um, killing animals is not a good deed. And um, so worshipping is also very important to me, um, which I do every day. I'm worshipping. When I'm worshipping, I um, chant uh, mantras and recite religious scriptures. And uh, also, um, we, you know, that is the way of praying. And also, we, there is, we just, um, on special days, we go to temple. Uh, in terms of my daily routine, I, in the morning, I do um, yoga. Um, which is called pranayama, uh, which is a uh, um, breathing exercise. And also I um, do a gentle physical exercise, which gives me a good start to the day. And then I have my shower and then start worshipping. Um, so it takes me, I have been doing it since my childhood. Since my childhood. Hi, my name is Hilary Anson and I'm Jewish. Um, Jews come in all sorts of uh, different ways. For the, uh, the, you have to adhere, uh, adhere to the religion as an individual within a community. So Jews come in all sorts of flavours, dress, and decide on how they're going to practice their religion as they wish. Um, I grew up in an orthodox um, traditional family in Hull. Um, we went to synagogue, we went to, we had got Jewish food, we kept all the festivals, my father was a kosher butcher. Jews are, are refugees basically, they have moved from, they've been in exile um, for many, many thousands of years. We have festivals to um, talk about exile, which is like the Passover, when we have a family service in the home with lots of other people as well. And we talk about the story of the exodus from Egypt. Apparently four out of five Jews go to a Seder. So it's a very family orientated religion. We have a refugee um, influence because there's been a history of us being thrown out of so many different countries. So there is always that idea that we might get thrown out. My goodness, we live in Scotland. Uh, my grandma used to keep extra food in her cupboard just in case. My grandparents came from Eastern Europe um, in the 1890s and my husband's parents came from Germany in 1939 so they made their life here and became reformed Jews. My husband's father actually 
didn't want to have anything to do with religion, but his wife told him that he had to be religious. So we feel that um, Jews have an obligation to um, serve their own laws and serve the laws of the country that they're living in. 